Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Okay, let me tell you a fact. Around 15 lakh students complete their engineering and come out of their engineering colleges as graduates every year just in India. The big question is how many of them become successful as engineers in their future? Very few, right? It becomes really important for all the engineering students out there to understand what does it actually take in order to become a successful engineer in this 21st century. So let us address the same thing in this video moving forward. So for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. In the coming future, I am planning of uploading videos regarding freelancing, regarding placements, preparation and many informative topics like this. So what one thing that I would like to suggest you is to click set the notifications to all so that you will be the one who will be notified anytime I upload any kind of new video guys. With that note, let's start this video. One of the most important traits that a successful engineer must have is adaptability. In this fast paced industry, engineers must be able to work with different projects in different teams and should be able to switch between tasks and technologies very quickly and should be comfortable with the change. What generally happens is there will be situations wherein you may have to work with different teams at the same time. Different teams will contain different team members whose perspective and whose way of thinking will be different. In order to cope up with that, you should be able to adapt to the conditions and come up with the uh, best possible solution for that. So in that way, you may I think you might have understood the importance of adaptability. To develop this adaptability, one thing I would like to suggest you is during your college days itself, you can just start talking with your friends. You can just start leading teams, leading team projects. So that will give you an essence of adaptability and that will let you uh, develop your leadership ability too. Next thing is about the technical knowledge. Of course, a strong technical knowledge base is required or is crucial for success in engineering. This includes the deep understanding of the latest technologies and trends along with a solid foundation in maths and science. Not promoting my own computer science branch but still in these days in 21st century you cannot imagine a life without having this technical knowledge. So I have come up with many videos regarding how to start to learn coding and how to uh, see you how to develop a programmer inside you in my previous videos. I'll be giving the links in the description. You can go through it. In that I have discussed how you can learn coding for free too. Yeah, if you go through that video, then if you start learning uh, coding if you, or if you start getting into this group, that will be a great help for you in the coming future guys. Yes guys, this was it. So the strong technical base, a strong technical knowledge base is definitely essential for everybody as an engineer in order to be successful in this 21st century. Yeah, moving forward, next thing that I'd like to address here is about communication skills. Engineering is all about thinking and thought processes and the way you convey it to people. For this, engineers must be able to effectively communicate their ideas to both their team members and their clients. This means having strong verbal and written communication skills along with the ability to present your ideas in a clear and concise manner such that everybody who is listening to it under understands the gist in the inside it. Yeah, for to develop this thing, one thing I would like to suggest you is to take the assignments or seminars or whatever that is given in your colleges as part of your curriculum very seriously and involve yourself in it and try to understand it as something that will help you become a successful engineer rather than just giving some marks to you. So I'd like to uh, suggest you to involve in all those things and try to take a lead in projects which have been assigned as a team. Yeah, that will help you a lot guys. Because whatever you study in the college is just maybe just for marks but these things will definitely help you in your further career as an engineer too. Yeah. Moving forward. Okay guys let me ask you a small question. What if somebody comes to you and asks you how do you define an engineer? What would be your answer? Pretty hard to think right? Yeah if someone among you does the same thing to me. If you come and ask me the same question my answer will be engineers are people who find problems and find the solution to that problem themselves. Yeah, you sh as a successful engineer, you should be able to find problems, you should be able to analyze the situation and you should be able to come up with a solution that will help overcome the same problem in an innovative manner. So one thing that I would suggest here is that whenever you are uh, doing anything, whenever you are do doing anything, you should be able to look around, you should be able to look around for problems which have been uh, continuously faced by the society and you should be able to think of what can be done. Yeah, this was it from my end guys. These were the four things which I thought of discussing with you, which are a must in order to become a successful engineer in this competitive 21st century. Of course, every engineer's journey will be different, but these are some qualities 
which are very good to have to start off so by the time you complete your engineering i mean by the time you complete your four years of engineering if you are someone who who have been stacked with all these qualities then i'm pretty sure that you will be the successful engineer of this generation yeah guys that was a motivating thing for you yeah i hope this video was very much informative for you if you found the same then immediately click on the like button so that i'll be able to come up with the same kind of videos in the coming future yeah and if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions regarding any kind of topics then immediately put it on the comment section so that i'll be able to read them and think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future yeah and then moving forward last but not the least i would like to inform you regarding our telegram group where are where there are more than 900 engineering students conducting efficient discussions helping each other and sharing their thoughts and sharing their ideas and sharing their innovative solutions to i would like to suggest you to join that group Im immediately if you haven't joined yet yeah with that note i'll be ending this video guys thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye